Well, certainly a big week of reports. Uh, Let's also get to the June acreage report and how this ties in with the livestock industry. Yeah, so I'll say livestock producers ought to be smiling just a little bit, especially if they aren't in the corn uh, corn production business. Uh, USDA gave us uh, 91.475 million acres of corn uh, in the report today. Uh, That's up from what was basically 90 million acres in March intentions. Um, I think that's been part of the reason for lower corn prices that we've seen today in in, uh, the marketplace. USDA also told us more uh, stocks of corn than pre-report estimates would have suggested. So lower feed costs may still be in the the future here for uh, the the livestock industry. So I think that's a, a positive piece out of that report. Now, On the soybean side of the equation, USDA gave us 86.1 million acres of soybeans in the June acreage report. That was down uh, about 400,000 acres from where the March intentions report came in Um, and was at the low end of the pre-report estimates, uh, just as corn was at the uh, above the upper end of the pre-report estimates. So so soybeans uh, a little tighter than uh, maybe folks would have thought beforehand. Do you think we could see some future adjustments considering some of the weather challenges we've seen here of late? Yeah, absolutely, Brent. You bring up a good point. Uh, when, when you look at what's been some of the flooding issues in, in parts of corn country, um, what's going to happen to harvested acres uh, is, is certainly un- still unknown at this point. Um, I won't be surprised for USDA to also resurvey uh, some on the planting side, just given. There's still several acres uh, left to go to be planted yet, uh, given where the report came out today. 